Hello my beautiful Aries, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna dive into the reading for February. We're gonna be checking to see what is coming your way this month. At the end of your reading I'm gonna pull some cards from Tarot to get more clarity if you have like a specific question in mind. Also I'm gonna put a link up here if you would like um, reading from me. You can go ahead and book your reading from there. Let's jump in and let's see what is coming your way. Let us see, let us see here. Okay, I see on the bottom of the cup, there are two actually, they form like kind of like an angel shape. They're coming together. This can be two different people coming together and maybe forcing and like creating a power, a force in your life, okay? Um, this can be help coming through because I see initially, you seem here, you seem like there is actually a burden on your back. This can be like a financial thing you're trying to build up because this burden looks like a big whale. This can also be a person that you're dealing with, but this person, because the whale uh, character comes up, the whale means that this can be someone very wealthy, someone very supportive and loving towards you, but um, they might actually create a situation for you to work for in order to get this financial security that you would like. We see the number eight here. This also looks like an anvil right there. The anvil is actually used to forge weapons back in the day. So this can be an indication that you're gonna be given the necessary tools in order to create the, the weaponry or maybe um, the, the tools also that you need in order to create this massive wealth. But first two weeks and first one and a half weeks seems like there is going to be some dark times in the sense of like a lot of non-clarity you will have, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, I see there are phone lines here forming, so you might connect with the people who will actually give you uh, clarity in this situation. You might get some information and then the sun is shining very bright. You're coming downhill here. I see a face of a person. This can be someone that you're connecting and they have like, there's a one person here, another one here someone with very high energy there's two people and they're going to be the gateway to you to actually get out of that situation i see another person rising here with a hat i feel like this is your energy and you there's a shoe right under you so if you're planning to travel the opportunity might show up maybe if you want to go to somewhere else rather than where you're living um at the end of your hard work, you might actually accomplish that the hat can be the indication that the authority that you're going to be gaining this can even be like a relationship challenge that you're having and there's going to be a very good resolution at the end these two people can be uh, your older people um, in the family or even maybe um, like a therapist or someone that is going to be a very great help some people in your situation okay these are the examples that i'm thinking but you can reinterpret this kind of uh, like um, the connections i also see here there's a ship appearing so whatever it is that hardship you're leaving it in the past okay you're moving on there's actually two people maybe even the third one right here you're getting on this ship and moving away moving out of that situation three uh, when it comes to threes three of cups indicates a celebration with the loved ones three of pentacles indicates a teamwork maybe you're coming together with very like-minded people and starting to create your futures, your dreams, it seems like within the third week. There's a tree of life showing here, a path is opening, and these are, you can see the lines even on the path. So this can be like an opportunity of travel for the long term. And also the tree can be the indication that planting, that um, tree that you're planting for your future. So that is gonna be, you're gonna be able to collect the fruits of your hard work, okay? I see here somebody's holding a flag. This flag actually seems like the, the flag of the victory that you're climbing on top of this castle to plant your victory there. And you also have a torch in your hand. Torch is actually symbolizing the fire sign because you're a fire sign. And uh, with this torch, you're probably going to be completing something and coming to the end of the line. And whatever that you wanted to accomplish it is actually that you're going to start to you're gonna complete it and get the fruits of your hard labor. I see here the face of like a, an eagle. This eagle can be indication of your uh, freedom that you're gonna be gaining out of the situation. Let's get into your plate now. If you have a question, a desire, an intention, hold it in your mind. Let's see what the answer is going to be. There's gonna be a very busy month, it seems like. I see a woman with long hair here. 
there's another person looks like a baby like a, someone with a baby face or maybe someone immature uh they're forming a couple maybe there is a couple in your life maybe someone younger than you are that they're, they don't know what they're doing maybe you're gonna be the guide for them i see you're standing here with a, a lot of strength and power authority you're wearing like a helmet it just reminds and there's a snake coming out of it snake can be healing okay the helmet just reminds me of like a roman soldier having like uh defending their castle but also at the same time a com like you're like a com commander here okay you are in um in power like everybody's surrounding you circling around you and your desire whatever it is it is actually coming full circle it's closing a cycle in your life and starting a new one and the things are actually working out better than you can imagine what the snake you might have a healing power the healing power doesn't have to be like medicinal healing this can be mental healing maybe you're relaxed like you have this beautiful aura that people are being attracted to and if you're being called to help to people in this way uh, you might actually start to increase your knowledge maybe regarding this kind of things because the more you know uh, the more you feel confident within you or this can be the healing that you're needing maybe if you need like a physical healing uh the opportunity will present itself the snake is in your mind it means that if you keep getting like the signs and signals to maybe go to a certain doctor or visit certain clinics or whatever it is uh, when it comes to your health maybe going to a certain gym doing yoga uh, it's good to follow that kind of ideas popping up this might be actually um an opportunity for you to heal um in the ways that you need we have here um queen of cups which is the water energy can be a cancer pisces scorpio an older woman maybe over, like over 40s and she will be actually coming up with a beautiful offer okay we have also the taurus here so the offer can be coming in financials usually the water signs indicates um um, romantic stuff but can be emotionally fulfilling offer as well and you are going to be in the here hierophant position the hierophant indicates authority power strength and establishment and this is taurus energy actually however i feel like the authority will be coming after you receive this offer from the person this uh, feminine figure it doesn't have to be female a feminine figure you're gonna have this authority strength and power and i also have here okay with the queen of you have a lot of feminine energy coming through also the justice card on the bottom queen of wands here so make your moves in silence because the things that you, everything that you step into this is your energy as well it doesn't matter if you're male or female but the feminine energy is required she makes her moves in silence she doesn't care about what other people think in the sense of negativity um mindful but is not clingy okay that's what's necessary right now because you're manifesting justice for yourself you're manifesting the things working out in the best way possible and also the control and power um but you need to be in also balance emotionally as well emotionally and making your moves in silence as well okay all right, my beautifuls, that's all for today. Hope you enjoy your reading. If you do, don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I wish you all a magical day. Bye.